Um, somebody's in here. I like my space, please. Uh, Find a, uh, put down the weapon. There. You're outnumbered. I suggest you listen. No, no. Hey, guys, guys. You can be civilized here, gentlemen. Guys, don't you know? One that I guys! Point the gun first. I'm one man against unknown. I think I've got the fair right to do so. Uh, no, that's what gets you shot in the okay, back. Okay, guys. I suggest that we guys. put the gun away and we can all be friendly. Shut up, put the gun away and I Idea, shall do the what? same. Don't move up, please. How about you, uh, tell us your name there, Padre? <laughs> I don't know exactly who should be comfortable looking because I have two men pointing guns at me. Oh Jesus! Enough! You're enough! Have to live with. Stop it! Ah, uh, Nylia. Stop it! Put it down, guys. You guys don't recognize that you voice. Tell your boys. Cool down. No. Sounds like the voice of a dead man to me. <sighs> Emma? Holy fucking shit, Nene? <laughs> oh my god, Emma! Holy fucking For shit, guys! Fuck's sake. Oh. Oh. I thought you I mean, you Kill some people there. What? Uh, you might still have to. Oh, Jesus. Horse chief. Chief? Yeah. You're just... You're just gonna stay up there for a little while. <sighs> By all means, man. Don't be sure, uh. please. I wouldn't want to fill you're just me gonna, in. You're just gonna stay. You're just gonna stay there. I understand the past disagreements. Uh, Lucky we're, 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 right. we're not letting this... I, I, I'm, right now I'm down. just as confused as you are, Marshall. I thought, I thought I know. Emma was gone. You might want to put that gun on your back, too. Well, last time I had guns pointed at me, my own men... Put your gun on your back. You don't have a fucking toy. Put Emma. your gun on your back. You don't get a toy. Thank you. I don't know, Marshall. I can't tell you exactly what's going on. Okay, then. Uh, Where the well, hell have you been? Here. I thought you were dead. <sighs> hey, you guys thought I was dead? Hey, buddy. Um, you okay? <laughs> yeah. I thought you were dead. dead. You think he was no, dead? Look. I've been gone the last few months. I thought he was dead. Chief. Chief. Take time and then they tell you I was dead too. They didn't even kill me for about three weeks. Oh, what I remember is me and Chief were having a talk on the top of this stuff. Then he pulled his gun on me. So, so what, ha what happened? Me and then instead he whacked me on the back of the skull. Woke up the next morning, no one was around, went to check Delina, no one was around, they didn't see you guys, and I left. I thought I was spared. Well, you pulled some pretty fucking retarded shit. Retarded, god damn right. I know. I know. I frankly am 
grenades haven't been shot yet. Yep. Mm. You're just lucky. Are you okay? Axel, no. You should uh, back no. up there. No, Axel. You. Claire's Axel. doing this. No. No. You're not alive. I see Dead. him. Dude. Axel, I see him. Mark I've ta I'm out. talking to him. Dave. He's talking to me. You, Dave. you don't know what you're talking about. Last time you said. Last time you said that out, anybody Axel. that you don't think so is dead. And you said that I know he's dead. I shot him. How do you know? Well, He's here. Everybody sees him. I can remember. He knocks me out, Axel. Chief, he, there is definitely he, somebody in a red beret in front of me. I see them. He's here. We all see him. When it's clear, only you see her. I made you a promise. Yeah, well... No. Whoa, no. Whoa. No. Calm down. No, we're not going to do this. Uh, I can't let you do that. I really don't care for this. We're going to find out what Person. is going on with with him right now. I mean, if there's any sign of problems, Chief, we'll do you remember what it. you told me a few days ago? Do you remember what you told me in front of the fire? You don't know what he's done. You don't know... You say I don't know what he's done, but weren't you just giving me the whole spiel of you don't go for revenge just a few nights ago? <coughs> I don't see the man doing anything to you at the moment. I don't even know who this is. He's standing here behind me little concern for his life with his hands up and you were just going to cut him down with an axe. There's more to this than you realize, Marshall. A, trust me, whoever this guy here is in front of me, he's always been right to do. After what I did. Are we going to have the same problems, Emma? Why are oh, you man. back is the question. Why are you back here? I can explain it. It's a long story. It's very long. Well, we need to make a camp I, for I the night. I think you better explain it for yours and Chief's sake. The guy in front of you is named Marshall, by the way. Nice to meet you, Marshall, Lieutenant Emmerich. Wait. I'm gonna... Emmerich. Gonna make a I know that name. It's been a while. I know that name from somewhere. If we're gonna talk about this, uh, you not put these weapons down somewhere. Oh! You deserve uh, that. Mm. Ah, damn. Oh, that hurts. Uh, you can still take a punch. Oof. Son of a bitch, think he cracked my nose. 
<laughs> you did you did deserve that too. And a whole bunch more. I think I'm still lost on this. Well, he might as well sit down. It's fucking gross. Oh, that sounded therapeutic. So, oh, am I allowed okay, to walk? Sure. You can walk.
I guess when I leave this back, are you going to tell us what the hell happened? Pen, how would you like me to start? Well, we need to make a little sense out of this, because uh, right now things aren't adding up. Alright, well I guess I'll uh, actually clarify what really happened in this event. After I received my injuries and Grimes healed me. How is he doing, by the way? He's doing alright, right? He's... Keep on with the story. Fine. Continue. Okay. I traveled up with Chief after he pulled me aside in Delina and we traveled up the hills to Mista. And him sat down in the field to move Mista and chatted for a bit. And then he pulled his uh, piss out on me. I suspected this was the end of my life at that very moment in time, and I believe that was all and well justified. And him talk for a bit more, and he honestly asked me if I thought I deserved worth living. I told him, from my point of view, for what I've done, probably deserve to die. And he said that I probably deserve to live if I could solve the problems. Is everyone else pretty here pretty much knows except for Marshall over there? So, I told him either he should kill me here and end it, or he should let me go and solve the problem. stood there still for a minute. It's dark. And before I knew it, he pistol at me in the back of the head. Knocked unconscious. I don't know what he told the rest of you, but I woke up the next morning and uh, was still laying down in the field to miss them. Some shoveled up dirt next to me, but nothing much. And I didn't know what happened. I earned myself a brand new fresh scar. I'm guessing some wandering bandit decided to have fun with an unconscious person. As you can see the scar running across my forehead right now. Down to my cheek. But uh, either way. From then on I decided to see if Chief forgave me and I headed back down to Delina. Hardly anyone was there, and the only ones who I could get in contact to said that you guys left town a long time ago. So I decided to uh, should I wait for him to get back? Lord, <sighs> no, he'll be back when he's ready. I'll keep going. Well, after I learned that you guys weren't anywhere near the vicinity and I couldn't get in contact with you, you it seems my radio is also relieved of my person. I decided to venture up north and alone. I lasted out there for a couple weeks, starved at some points, and other times dehydrated. Almost fell off a cliff. Hallucination. Generally, Barry survived, avoid the hordes where I could, and pretty much only had one bullet on my purse and end it all if I got caught. Or if I couldn't fix the problem. It was about after Mista. Stumbled out of the woods and onto a military airfield. Or, conveniently enough, I actually saw a few Abrams and a couple Humvees. Honestly confused me until I got caught by one of the border patrols and some words were said and I figured out it was actually my company. Just after all this, uh, this time. It was great seeing them being reunited. It gave me a sense of peace. Of course that didn't last long. 
was only for there about three days before I discovered what they've been doing. I was checking the perimeter and taking stock of the situation, making sure that I could hold out and noticed no civilians were there and when I asked they said that they all left thinking that they could do better out on their own. But what actually happened was uh, quite a bit more brutal. I discovered in one of the buildings that all the civilians were cut up, chopped up like pigs on racks. They're eating them. Men, women, children, no one was spared. After I found out about this, I took it up with all my leaders and they decided to drop the matter and they said that they'd stop. And later that night, I knew that they wouldn't, I was probably next on the menu. But later that night, after planning several social charges inside each of the tanks and on the Humvees, only taking one with me, the Humvees, and uh, blew up the rest. They weren't Marines anymore. I drove for a long time after that, filling up when I could, repairing the Humvee when I could, and eventually ditched it. The tires eventually ran low and one of them popped. I didn't have any replacements. So I had such a hasty departure. I eventually walked. And I made my way through the forest somehow got to the coast again. I recognized I was somewhere near Bloat Airfield, and I was honestly amazed I even came back here. And then uh, I met a longtime friend. I never thought I'd see you again. Met Finner two days ago. He'd be doing fine, although he was acting a bit, a bit weird and strange, wanting to call himself Jason. happened to him? Do you believe what he's saying, Nalia? I don't know if I can believe this. This seems like a lot of bullshit to me. Well, sometimes most inconceivable truths are what you think you truth. can come back here and we'll just let everything go. Bye I didn't come to you guys. Bye you guys, guys rolled up on me. Didn't ever expect to see you guys again. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you again. You were dead. You are dead. I don't know who you are, but you're wearing a dead man's face. I made sure the job was done with Emmerich. He's not alive. You want to rip my face off then? Fine. Let's see. You are Emmerich. When was the first time we really got to know each other? first time we really got to know each other was on top of Vibor Hill. I met up with you, we sat there for a minute, and the rest of the group joined up. You guys offered me some water from Jerry Can, which I refused since I thought it was gasoline contaminated. We then proceeded on from there to travel all the way south until we found a cargo truck to where we hopped in it, and I drove us all the way to uh, Electro. It was along the way that I came up with Nene's nickname over there. Then we proceeded to drive the truck back up north and somehow lost it and ended up back in the place we all slept the night at. That was the first true time I met you. <laughs> Definitely sounds right. What 
what makes uh, any of us believe that you are any different than the way you were before? Well, first off, I try to kill any of you, spouting off random nonsense. I'm looking to be inflicted or me. inflicting pain. Honestly, there's no way for you to believe me or not. After what I did, why should you trust me? That's the whole point. I regret what I did. I regret a lot of things. You, so what the hell you regret about? what you did. How can you regret it? Almost killing the thief. See, if I try to explain it to you, you're just gonna. We're just gonna say I'm spouting off random nonsense again, so really much I can do to explain it. I saw you did. I like stabbed I said, you. I don't. I don't know so what many happened. Times. I don't know what you saw. You knocked me out with the pistol whip. You showed me mercy. I don't show anybody mercy. You certainly showed me mercy. So I wouldn't be sitting here right now. Talking to you. All I can really say is He's under control, and he won't be showing up anymore. That's all I can say. Whether you choose to believe me or not is up to you. We didn't even know he existed until you tried to... Leah, what do you think about this? Can we trust them? I, uh... I want to. And give them a but chance. I a... And the moment he screws up, he's gone. I don't know if we can risk that, though. Can we risk that? That's just me. <sighs> but shit, I can't, I, my opinion doesn't matter anymore. I don't know. I guess he deserves a second chance. I mean, I don't know. But what he did was a lot worse than what I've done. And look what happened. They told me you're not real.
put the gun down, please. Axel, look at me. Put the gun down. That is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. I'm seeing it. And that's no good for anyone. <laughs> You're not seeing dead people. Not right now. It was dead. The man down there. Apparently not. He is down there very much alive. I am seeing him just as much as you are. You are not imagining things. Now, I can't tell you exactly what's been going on, but I can tell you that the man down there is alive. He's who you think he is, clearly. At least I think he is. No, clear. Chief, it's me. It's me. It, it's Marshall, Chief. Axel? Put the gun down. It's Marshall. No, it's not. Axel? Yes, it Lies is. To me. I am not Watch lying this. to you. Watch this fucker. Axel? the gun down, please, and we can talk about this. You remember what I told you on the road? You remember what I told you on the road that you need to push back? That's what you need to do right now. You need to push you back on the darkness so you can let the good in. Excellent. Yes, Chief. I am telling you to push back. If I was Claire, do you really think that I would be telling you to push back, to fight back, to make the difference in your mind, to better yourself? Do you think I'd be spewing all that self-help bullshit to you if I was Claire? Do you think I'd be trying to help you right now if I was Claire? No, I'd be trying to rip your fucking mind apart, but I'm not. I am sitting here trying to help you. And you're pointing a gun at me. Snap the fuck out of it and put the gun back in your fucking holster. Now. Now, Chief. In the holster. Point that gun at me all, all you want. I'm not going anywhere. Put it back in your holster. Because right now you're aiming a gun at your friend. Someone who's been here for you every step of the way since you found me. Sitting on the side of that road. I am very much real. I am here. And I have been nothing but a friend to you. Chief, I, I have something I could show you. you. You gave it to me a long no. time ago. Last time you did that, you said you were helping me. I am Excellent. helping you. At least I'm doing my best to. Now you can put a drill a bullet through my chest right now. I might deserve that at this point with the things that I've been going through and the things that I've been wanting to do. I'm going to ask you again, please here, put the gun plan? back in your holster, Chief. I don't plan here. anything. You told me You're to not kill going all those to what? people. I didn't tell you to kill anyone. What are you talking about? Put the gun back in your holster, Chief. She never told me. You never told me. 
I never told you what? If you never told me to kill those people. <laughs> then I killed all those people. You know why you killed all those people? Because you felt it was necessary. You felt the need to protect the people around you. That's something I've realized over the past couple days, mainly when you pulled me aside at that fire. It's been sinking in slowly. You don't kill here out of spite or revenge. You end threats. You take out the things that are threats to you and the people around you that you care about. That is what you have been doing. Nothing more, nothing less. You've been taking full measures, Chief. What's necessary to protect Nylea, Simon, Luciano, everybody in this little group of ours. You've done what's necessary. I don't want you to think bad upon yourself that you've done things that didn't need to be done. Everything that you've done has been for a purpose, for a reason. I don't really know what to say on that. I told them all to come here. Ever. All the dead people. No. No. We just happened to cross him. And he's here. Albeit we almost blew each other away whenever we were first walked in here. What did you do with Whatever her? you want to call this. Didn't do anything with anybody. I've been here with you. What did you do with Nylea? And we're back to pointing the gun. Nylea's... Well, was behind me. Nylea, are you here? You're lying. Here. They always say that no, you're not. The I'm people not. aren't there. Nylea. They say that the people aren't there. All right. The fuck's going on? Lucky. Oh. What's shit. happening there? Oh uh, shit! Take care of him down. Take care of him down there. God damn it! Nylea, we're gonna need you. We're gonna need. No, chief. Need you, chief. 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 What? Ha what happened? She told me that she chief. wasn't there. He chief. took around in the vest. She took him. Chief, Chief, can you put put the gun I'd on the ground, please? Lucky, this move, please. Simon. This is Simon. You need to put that gun down. You're gonna have to put that gun down. Now Leah's right there. She needs to get over to him. Chief, you need to back up. Come on. real. We're all real. He's helped you. He's real, Chief, and you just heard him. Simon, I need you to play this bandage. My, my hands. Oh, here. Marshall, Marshall, try not to move. Try not to move. Marshall, sit down. You did. Lay down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are 
Are you hit? I don't know. I don't know. I can't feel anything. Uh, damn it. Oh. I think the round Just... half near his spine. You sit nice and tight. Uh, my leg. My leg hurts. Does anybody uh, have any morphine? Or, uh, I need a splint. I don't have anything. Lucky, can you go get me some sticks, got please? What you need. Got Lucky. what you need down yeah. here. Don't fucking let that guy come up. Here. Yeah, I got something here. I can make, I can make something. Here. What? Got do you have morphine? Need. Do you have any Marsh, saline? Marsh, Marsha, where's the, where's the, where's Emma, the I don't have anything at? like that. I do have Where's bench. the pain at? Do you have, the, my, uh, I, I need to make a split. Shot me in my other leg. Yeah, I know. Oh, I, son of a bitch. Okay, the round, I, uh, alcohol. round through, the through uh, but it looks like it nicked you a bit. One second. You need to stop running. Fuck, okay. Hey, Marsha, are you ready? This is gonna hurt a lot. Oh, son of a bitch. Here, use this. Marshall. Oh, Alright, thank you. Do you have any, hey, uh, extra eggs? I'm coming! We need an epi pin. No, no, we you need something. Plenty. Do you have any epi or... Marshall, come on. Sorry. Come on. This is all come I on. have. Marshall, right. you son of a bitch. I swear to God, I'm gonna kick you in the head if you don't wake up. Lucky, I need you to, uh, what's the closest town? I need, I need, I need at least a saline. Um, got a saline. You got a saline? I need that, please. Um, oh, jeez. I, I, I can do that. Here, let me, let me get his other arm. Quick, get his leg, get his leg straight now. The all right, all looks right. like it kind of nicked the bone while he's out. Alright. Okay, we probably have swelling here. We need to get... S Do you need some help up there? <sighs> help. Oh, you stay the fuck down there, buddy. Listen, if we're gonna oh, trust him, we need to trust him now. We need the help. Emma, can you go to the well, please, and get any Come cans on. you might find? of soda or any food and try and co cool them down. We need to reduce any swelling around the wounds so that uh, it might be pressure that's I causing lack of uh, feeling. Okay. okay. Yes, Alright. Marshall, it don't move. All right, if you can hear me, don't Marshall, move. Don't move. Uh, don't don't move your left hand. I hear don't you. move the left hand. Don't move. Don't move we have hand. an IV. I'm in. moving my hand. We have an IV because in there the right IV's now. In your vein already. Oh shit. Oh, it's cold. That is cold. Hold on. We're, it's no gonna shit, get colder. Cold we're, we're bringing some we're bringing some cold objects. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh. You should probably set that leg straight just in case. Alright, like I've got a splint. Him. I've got a splint already. Hold on. Yeah, so do I. Okay, oh. you're in a better position to try and splint this, uh, splint it than I am. Coming in. I got, I got a splint. Got here, I'll do it. I got the cold can. Yes. Okay, N hold on. Nylia, I need you here. He here I, need you to, I need you to grab the bag. I need you to grab the IV bag and hold it. So I can... Him. Here, I don't know if this will help much. You Here's fucking water bottle and shot me. Here's some cold peaches. All I could find. Hold on, hold on to that. All right, I got it. I got it. All right. Okay, okay. Marshall. Are you ready? No. Uh. Okay, 
Emma, can you take those cans, please, and try and yeah. uh, just just try and set them All around right. wherever it Ready? looks like uh, there's any Three, swelling. Two, Especially one. around the leg where it looks like he's got. There we go. There we go. It's set. It's set. It's set. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Okay. okay. I need. He needs to be stitched, and he needs cold compresses. I don't see any extra SS bleeding. It doesn't look like any veins were hit, or else we'd have be blood everywhere. Got a, I got something on How, how big is that? How, how big is that wound, Nylea? I can't see it from this side. It was a 357. The fuck do you think? Oh, yeah, that's. Where did it go in? Went to his leg. Was it left or right? Left. I think it was the left. Yeah, it was the left. Yeah, the left. it's definitely yeah, the left. Yeah, it's the left leg. It'd be right there, just behind, just mid mid thigh. see very clearly. I need... Uh, I, wish I, had. Uh, I don't see anything. I, I don't want to probe it. I don't want to cause it more pain. You want me to make a torch? Yes, no. can you please, uh, Emma? I need the light. Um. Yes, ma'am. Nylea, try and see if you can gently see, feel if there's an exit wound on the other side. It looked like it was a through and through. I, I, I'm That's going it. to. Hold on. Kinda I'm just to trying tell. to make sure that this is... Oh, God. I have a flare in my pack, if that's what it takes. Colored light won't help right now. I need a nice, clear, yeah. bright light. Yeah. I wasn't talking about for light. We're not going to cauterize. It's uh -huh. not bleeding that bad. And if there's fragments in there, they have to be taken out. Oh, we got it. Oh. All right, I'm going to have to to uh clean this up before I can stitch. Okay, so to through and through, legs in pain, we got swelling. It might just be just a mo very minor hairline. Oh. Uh, You're lucky I can help her. Let's see what the hell's going on. If anything, it might be a minor hairline fracture, hopefully. Simon! Light good enough? Simon! Why am I always shot in the legs? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because you're so tall? Six three. That's what my Get ready. License said. Anyway. Are you ready for this? Are you any better, Marshall? I got stabbed. No, but go ahead.
sensory. No, don't apologize. Thank you. Once more, and then I can stitch. Too... Okay. Too many things. Okay, I don't see anything in there. We're, we're clear. I don't see any fragments. Trying to help. Emma. I, mean, I know Leeway and Amy died. Emma, I think Chief is suffering from some sort of traumatic stress. I don't know. Emma, you better not ever say that in front of Chief. I'll well, get you told me. I don't care. I'll get you myself. Okay. Understood, Marshal. I can't see shit out there. <sighs> Can I come out with you? No. I'm, Simon's with them. I'm sure they're fine, but I can't see shit. I think 20... I'm willing to bet $100 I'd probably just cheat. Releasing anger. It could be. Well, we haven't heard a call back from him over the radio. So that's what concerns me. Don't move. If you Simon can at least it. avoid it. If you need to move, tell me so I'm not in the middle of a stitch. This okay. is gonna hurt. I I'm wish I had something here to... With my face. Yeah, I wish I had something to make it numb. I, I've got the cold here to try to get to help it, but... Are you ready? As much as I'll ever be. Yeah, I feel like I'm fully responsible for what happened. No. You're not. That probably would have happened down the line. Almost done on the first. Regardless. Oh, fuck. <laughs> You're lucky. Oh, people are coming. Chief and Simon. Uh, Leo, what does he need? Tell me. Tell me We're right now. We're almost done. Get ready, here we go. <laughs> I need I need I need to set the drink. I need to set the drink. Someone uh, give us some water, water, please. Water, alcohol, alcohol. Is nice. Water, cold water inside the bottle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. What the fuck has happened while I've been gone? Shut the fuck up. And that's <sighs> Shut up. <gasps> I suggest just be careful with your next word. That term, <sighs> think before you speak. Okay, one more. Do it. <coughs> Fuck. 
<laughs> All right. All right, this is going to sting, and then I can manage. All right. All right, bandaging. All right, that's all cleaned and sterile and it should be okay. We have to watch those bandages and stitches though. Lucky. How are you feeling, Marshall? I feel like I got hit by a truck, but only the lower half. I actually feel like my leg got run over. It's like deja vu all over again. Yeah, it's just the trauma <sighs> of the bullet. All right, we we need to keep him warm. The same fucking spot too. He's gonna probably. Mild shock set in. Well, we need to take him downstairs. Oh, we'll get him down to the fire. Yes, we gotta get him downstairs. Uh, I'll okay, get out of your way. I don't. I don't. I don't want to move. Just get, you're gonna I have think to. Moving would hurt too much. I don't want uh, to move. You Marshall, just, just let me lay here. No, you don't got a choice. Let's try and get you downstairs. We've got you splinted. We've got you fixed up. We need to get you down where it's warm. So if in case you start to go into shock. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Come on. Get on up. Take one of. Come on. Come on, Marshall. <coughs> Come on. Just use use me. Come on. <coughs> Come on, Marshall. <laughs> Easy down there. There's. Ah. Come on, yeah. you old loof. Same fucking spot. <laughs> Lucky, I yeah. need you to do me a favor. What is it? Just come down here so Marshall can see. you to punch me as hard as you can in the face. No. Um. No. Do wrong. Do not make a right. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, don't do it. Are you lucky? Sure, are you sure There's no need. I'm telling you not to. I'm telling I mean, you not to. Y'all both did fucking pull a gun on me the other week. Oh, so yeah, uh, and I would have used your mom's too. a whore. Is that what I heard? Come on, hit me. Oh, oh God. Damn. Uh, Leah, you okay? You know, Left for foot, a, a uh, drug addict, you sure do not don't, punch don't, like a don't, fucking don't, sissy. Don't, damn it. Don't fucking, don't even bother. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Uh, Lucky, I swear to God. You hit him again. I'll fucking shoot you in the leg. Yeah, you're gonna do what? <laughs> what, Tasha? Because right now, I'll take your other leg, too. Oh. Yeah, and I'll do a lot more than take your fucking leg. Stop playing yeah, the well, fucking tough guy. And start doing what people fucking tell you to. Alright, I'm sick of your fucking shit, Luciano. I am sick and tired of you playing the oh, woe is me. I'm so fucking depressed. Just shut the fuck up. For I'm once. I have to sit here and take your shit, Mark. Life. Mm. <laughs> Everybody needs to calm the fuck down. Fuck you, don't leave. No, just, just relax. I think my blood pressure is too high for this right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I did this to you. Oh. I'm going to get you through this, Marshal. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> you just squeeze my hand. And it's, I don't care if you break it. Uh, I, feel I don't like really have the energy to do anything right now. <laughs> it's all right. You know, he's got a stronger right hook than I remember. Right. That's your own damn fault. <laughs> As for you. I need to feel something. Time to do something uh, for me that I can't ever repay. Hey, so. Uh, I don't. I don't. It, you know, this is one of those moments that I just I I don't I don't have any words for it right now. I'm sorry. that.